Real manifestation isn't passive wishing. It's an active process of aiming and training your brain. So what is actually happening on a neurobiological level? So you've programmed your reticular activating system and are rewiring your brain. But what drives you to do the actual work? Well, that comes down to brain chemistry. So first is the neurotransmitter dopamine. It's more than the feel-good chemical. It's the motivation molecule. Research shows your brain releases dopamine not just when you achieve a reward, but in anticipation of it. So vividly visualizing your success gives you a small hit of dopamine, creating the chemical drive to pursue the real reward. So you can actually increase motivation by just visualization. Second is mental rehearsal. This technique is used by elite performers. A famous study illustrated this perfectly. So basically, researcher took a basketball team and split the players into three groups to test their free throw outcomes. The first group practiced physically for an hour every day. The second group didn't touch a basketball, but simply visualized making perfect free throws. And the third group did nothing at all. After 30 days, they brought all the players back. And the group that practiced physically improved by 24%. The group that did nothing at all showed no improvement, but the group that visualized improved by 23%, almost as much as those who physically practiced. This is insane if you really think about it. So when you're thinking about a goal, right, and you're imagining yourself executing that goal, you activate many of the same neural circuits as you would by actually doing it. This is thanks to mirror neurons, which are brain cells that fire both when we perform an action and when we observe someone else performing it. Mental rehearsal is basically a simulation that strengthens the neural blueprint you'll need for the real performance. So science-based manifestation is an active four-stage process. First, you set a clear intention, this programs your reticular activating system to find opportunities that are already hiding in plain sight. Second, you use focused repetition to leverage neuroplasticity. This physically rewires your brain, carving new neural pathways for empowering habits. Third, you use visualization to get a hit of dopamine. This creates the chemical drive to take action. And finally, you use mental rehearsal to prime your brain for that action, building skill and confidence before you even start. So the power to change your life isn't out there in the cosmos. It's been inside of your brain all along. You have the neurological tools to start building a new reality, one thought, one action, and one neural pathway at a time. What goals are you programming your brain for? Let me know in the comments. And as always, thank you for watching and the support.